don't know why I was just filming, like, walking around my house. <laughs> I don't know. I was in the kitchen doing a fancy thing to snack on before I made this, but I thought, nah, I'm just going back in here. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, for my video today, I decided I wanted to talk about how exactly I got into the monkeys. Like, why, like, what caused me to come to become a fan. And, um, recent, like, I, I briefly mentioned it in my first video, but, like, the reason I really wanted to touch on it now was because recently an event has happened in which reminded me of part of my journey. And, um, I start with this. Okay. So, it was February, mid-February, kind of towards the end, even a little. And I noticed a lot of the people that I followed on Tumblr were Monkees fans. So I would see things that would be posted by them, and I'd see, like, pictures of the group, and at that time, I didn't know who was who. I knew that there was, like, a Texan, I knew that one of them was, like, kind of British, but, like, other than that, I didn't know much of anything about them. Like, I couldn't tell you which one was Mike, or Davey, or Peter, or Mickey, nothing. But people really enjoyed them. And I started kind of asking questions, like, oh, is the TV show any good, and whatever. And I thought, maybe I could give it a chance at some point, maybe. But, like, part of the reason I didn't then was because I had a tablet computer that just is crap. And anytime you try to watch a video anywhere, it would play, but then it would crash the browser every stinking time. And you have to go back, wait forever for you to get where you were before, because it would take forever to slide the thing over, because it just retarded like that. I mean, it did not matter what the website was at all to play it. It would just do that. So I kind of refrained from being a Monkees fan, because I thought to myself, I don't have the ability to watch the episodes, and that seems kind of important, you know. I mean, the music, of course, is essential, but the show itself is what started it, so. And also because, I was a little slow because I'd heard, like, the monkeys, like, I heard all the bad rumors, like, they were a joke. And all that kind of stuff. And so I never really truly wanted to get into them. And then, the 29th of February came along. We all know what happened that day. And everyone that I was following was just completely upset. Completely. Like, everywhere was Davy, And like, all these monkey songs started appearing on people's blogs. Naturally, I was kind of like, oh, well, you know, I kind of might want to inform myself a little on them, in this case. And I began to listen. Blown away. Completely blown away. Like, the only song I knew of the monkeys was I'm a Believer. And I had heard it one time before and I didn't really care for it so much. Because I was raised on the Smash Mouth cover, so I kind of, with with me, if I hear a song and I'm used to it, and then it gets changed differently, I'm always, uh, but in this, so in this case, the original seemed lackluster to the cover, because I was raised on the cover. But when I actually listened to all these monkey songs people were blogging, I can remember, I just remember which ones were the ones I listened to. It's amazing how I can remember that. Daydream Believer was one of them. I'm a Believer also was, and I actually liked it this time around. She, As We Go Along, um, Porpoise Song was another one. Crap. Was a, she, I think, I don't, did I mention that one? I don't think I did. If I did, oh. Uh, like, I think those are the ones that were, oh, I Want to Be Free. That's the other one. It's like, there were six of them, and I, and I realized I did repeat one. <sighs> Sorry, I could have had them written out, but um, I still remember those were the songs that I heard. Of course, because I was a newbie fan, I thought Davey sang all of them, which turns out he didn't. <laughs> but um, but I was full and blown away. And when I listened to the two songs that are from Head, like the album art was there, and I was like, 
This is actually like a serious album cover. Like, streamlined, modern looking, serious. And I was like, have I judged these boys wrong? Are they actually a group that's a serious group? You know, and it's like, I hadn't heard so much about the whole, they didn't write their own songs, but more that they were not to be taken seriously part. But as much as I was so ready to just jump forward and look up as much as possible as I could about them, one, again, still had that tablet computer, and that was something that hold me back. Two, I did not want to be labeled as a fan that got into them just because someone passed away. I mean, that stuff seems to happen. The whole phrase that people only start to listen to you when you're dead. I did not want to be one of those people. I mean, I had shown a little bit of interest beforehand. I just didn't, I just didn't present, like, I just kind of took advantage of the situation almost. And how it just presented itself. Like, all of this was right there. All these songs were right there for me to listen to. And, like, I mean, I feel kind of bad for that reason. I just didn't get into them almost truly genuinely. Because, you know. But, I mean, I don't think it matters anymore anyways. And, like, now that I know about the fandom, if I would have gotten into them at that time, I don't think they would have been, like, mean at all. Because the Monkees fandom is just so kind and wonderful. And I'm gonna say something else I can't remember. Shoot. Oh yeah, but what reminded me of this was um the passing of Robin Gibb. I saw it here on my iPod, scrolling through Tumblr, and I'm like, did we really lose another celebrity? Did we really lose another musician? That's from like the 60s, 70s, you know, that, you know that, just that time period. And I've never been a big Bee Gees fan, like I haven't heard a whole lot. But I've heard some songs, and I know there are so many people out there just kind of like, Oh no, we lost Robin, and like, they're so sad, and I'm feeling for them, and it's just like, wait a second, deja vu. This is exactly what happened with Davey, only instead of on your swing set, on an iPod, you were in your room on that tablet. And just being reminded of that, I just kind of felt like this video would be more appropriate to kind of tell you how I got into the monkeys. I just kind of listened to them. And then when I had my iPod, I was able to finally look up an episode and not have to worry about things crashing. And well, once I watched one episode, I was done for. <laughs> really, I watched the first one and oh, I, I was laughing my head off. My sister was in the room and she might have looked over me and like and thought like, what are you watching? But she didn't care. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's my video. And why do I, why can I never make a video that is like short? These are all long things. I don't get it. For once, can't it be like under five minutes maybe? Mm.